Let's talk about diffraction. Now this image that I have here isn't about diffraction, it's actually refraction, but it's okay. I just thought it was really awesome. I like that lady's face. Her mouth looks really funny. But okay, if we look at this one right here, what is diffraction? Diffraction, we can define it at least that when a wave goes through an aperture, uh, they're going to spread out. What do I mean by an aperture? I mean like an opening, some sort of hole or something like that. So, for example, uh, if you know these waves are going through this opening here, they're going to spread out. Now, this could also be for going around an object instead of going through an aperture, but let's just look at this example here. So, I've drawn some wave fronts, and this is the direction of travel of these waves. I know my drawing isn't perfect, but there we go. But the idea here is that notice this one right here, I can uh, look at this right here, that's the wavelength. And let's look at the size of this opening right here, this size of the opening here. Okay, we'll call that uh, D, let's say, that's the size of this opening. Notice that the size of the opening is bigger than the wavelength. Well, what's going to happen then is there's still going to be spreading of the wave, and what do I mean by that? It's going to kind of curve it, but it's not going to be much, so it's going to be something like, maybe it curves a little bit like this, it curves just a little. And maybe the next one does the same kind of thing, I'm just trying to draw these and sort of having them, I mean they will curve a little, sure, uh, but they won't curve that, that, that much. Okay, so this right here, maybe I'll say this, I'll say if, uh, maybe I'll write it like this, if D is greater than lambda, then we can say there's not much diffraction. Remember what diffraction means, it means spreading. So really what we're saying here is there's not much spreading of the wave. You know, when the wave actually spreads out, and I'll show you, for example, uh, what happens when it does. Okay, so if this D is greater than the wavelength, there's not so much spreading of the wave. So now let's look at what happens if the opening is smaller. So this right here is still your wavelength right here. That's what the, the distance between these wave fronts is still lambda. And this distance now is D. And notice that D is much smaller, or at least comparable size to the wavelength. So we can actually already start setting it up. We'll say if you know, uh, D is you know, less than or equal to lambda, what's going to happen? Well, it turns out then there's going to be more spreading. So that means these things are actually going to spread maybe like this, like you know, quite a bit more. So it's like how much the waves kind of curve, something like this right here. Um, so something like that, there's more diffraction. And remember what we mean by more diffraction, we mean more spreading. Now what's kind of cool is that uh, at least where uh, my wife is from in Denmark, and actually we have like a little cottage uh, over near a place called Vibu, it's in Denmark at least. Uh, it's up north of uh, Copenhagen. Uh, this is just a Google uh, Images uh, no, sorry, Google Maps uh, search here of where we like to go swimming. And the reason I show this is because this often happens when we're out for a swim in these little uh, beaches here, these little beaches with the rocks here that are there to protect uh, the beach. So you'll actually see these waves coming in, and the waves will come in like this here. And remember, this here could be the ray, then, you know, this is the wave coming in like this. And what happens is because it passes through these, these things actually they spread then. In other words, they, they really do diffract like this. It's like a beautiful example. These little waves actually kind of spread out. And that's because they pass through an opening. It's kind of cool. So let's investigate this a little bit more with an animation from PHET. I always love them. So we'll do a wave interference. So this one here, I've set it up where uh, you notice that this one here, the slit width right here is fairly wide. And I'm just going to turn it on. I've set it to sound uh, just so we can take a look. These are the wave fronts that we're seeing here. And do you notice, like, and you can tell the wavelength by the distance from a white to a white. If I paused it, for example, the distance from a white to a white or a black to a black is the wavelength. And do you notice this opening is bigger than the wavelength? And what happens then is, uh, look at this, on this end here, it's mostly straight up and down, except it does curve a little bit. So there's some diffraction, sure. Now watch what happens with the curviness of this thing if I make the slit width much smaller. So if I make D smaller, notice, notice this opening right here now is much smaller. And look now at how much it spreads. So if you look now, do you see it's not very straight? It's totally curved. There's more diffraction. Now we can also look at what happens if you have diffraction just around an object. So these again are the wave fronts moving to the right. Uh, what happens if they just go around one object? Well, I mean, they still will kind of make these, you know, lines like this right here. I'm just trying to draw some lines like this right here. And what's going to happen here is they're going to go like this, yes, but then they're going to curve a little bit. You know, and then they're going to go straight up and then they're going to, 
you know, curve a little bit. So this is also diffraction. Diffraction can also happen sort of around an object. I'm just not a great artist, but I hope you understand the idea here. So these wave fronts are here. They do, they do kind of curve around an object like this here as they go to the right.